Part 1. You are going to listen to a conversation between two friends who are discussing the organization of a party. As you listen, answer the questions. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now the test will begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hi, Matt. Right on time. Have you been waiting long? Mm, five minutes. The buses were held up on the high street. Otherwise, I would have been early. Yeah, there's something wrong with them today. Yes, I think so. OK, what should we do? Should we go and have a coffee? Yeah, that would be nice. There's that place on the corner over there. It does really nice coffee and cakes and things, and at this time it's usually very quiet, so we'll be able to talk. OK, let's go there then. So, when's the party going to be? Well, it has to be at the end of September, before we all leave for university. We've plenty of time then. We don't go for another five weeks, do we? Hmm... Well, we haven't really got that much time, if you think about it. There are only a couple of weeks at the beginning of September when all of us are around. Oh, yes, I forgot. Nazrin, Phil and Nicky and all that lot have gone off on holiday. And I'm away for two weeks from tomorrow. So, what does that leave us, then? As far as I know, we're all here between the 19th and the 30th of September. Will Sandra be around, then? I know that she has a whole string of family birthdays at that time and she might not be available. Hmm. Well, let's make a note of that and we can contact her about it. OK. Shall we settle for the 21st of September then? What day is the 21st? It's a Saturday. Is that OK? That's fine. Before the conversation continues, look at questions 6 to 10. As you listen to the second part of the conversation, answer questions 6 to 10. For these questions, there are three alternatives, A, B and C. Decide which alternative is the most suitable answer and circle the correct letter. And now for the tricky bit. Where are we going to hold it? Well, I spoke to Nikki last week and she volunteered her place as they have a huge house and garden. Oh, fantastic. Will her parents be around? Yeah, I think so, but she said they won't mind. Oh, right. Well, my parents wouldn't like it at all. <laughs> Nor mine. <laughs> but is it definite? Yes. When I spoke to her, she said it was definitely on. I'll just have to confirm the dates with her. We thought it would be one weekend in September, so I'll just have to make sure that that one is OK. One thing Nikki suggested, we could have a daytime party, as we could be outside if the weather is fine. Oh, wow. How far out does she live? It's not that far. Do you know where West Road crosses the bridge? Yeah. It's the first house on the right, with that huge drive up to the front door. Oh, right. I know exactly where it is. The road is off the A33 and runs north, then over the bridge and first on the right. I know it. Ah, oh, the place is amazing. You know it has a big swimming pool. Does everyone know where she lives? Most of her friends do, but not all. But it doesn't matter, as we can put this map Nicky sent me in with the invitation. How shall we do the invitation? We can do it on the computer. I can scan the map and we'll put it all onto an A4 page. Is this the address? Can I just write the address down? It's 93 West Road, and I'll take the phone number. It's 477-130. Right. There's one other thing. Yes? We're all giving £10 towards refreshments and food. There'll probably be a barbecue. Do you think that's enough? Oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. And everyone will have to help tidy up afterwards, including the boys. <laughs> that is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.